This is a short review session on portfolio optimization models. Imagine a universe of securities like the graph in front of you. You have some names, some numbers about risk and return. But how do you make sense of this data? How do you put it to work? How do you decode it? There are three questions that you'd like to answer. Which one of these should you invest in? Once you know which one, how much should you invest in? And when would be the right time? A good starting point in answering these questions is risk and return. To a large extent, this is the challenge portfolio optimization models address. Given a universe of investable securities, how do we allocate capital to maximize return while restricting risk to reasonable limits? How do we ensure that our allocation to an individual position doesn't exceed specified safety limits? How do we benchmark our performance to market link metrics and indices? Portfolio models help us achieve all three objectives. Beyond the three questions above, there are more simple questions that pop up when you start thinking of investing. If the odds are in your favor, how much should you bet? How do you create wealth in the long run? What are the most common attributes among successful investors? What drives security prices? Which one is better? Diversification or concentration? And what exactly is the right measure of risk? If the odds are in your favor, bet small. Process and discipline are the key to wealth in the long run. Curiosity is the most common attribute among successful investors. Valuation and expected returns drive security prices. Whether you pick diversification or concentration, that's a function of your investment style. And the right measure of risk is uncertainty. We begin by optimizing the trade-off between risk and return. And the tool we use for doing this is Excel Solver. The approach is fairly simple. We pick an allocation model, we optimize using that model, we compare returns produced by that specific model, we compare results with a benchmark holding period return, and we repeat the process till we get to a point where our results beat the benchmark. How complex can these models get? You remember that graph that we started off this conversation with? with the one with the securities and the returns and the risk? What are you asking Solver to do? What you're asking Solver to do is given this data, given this information, can you actually chart a path that will lead to maximum returns using this history? assuming that this performance is repeated in the future. So what are some of the key lessons we focus on teaching in our course on portfolio optimization models? Risk is uncertainty, but it is also opportunity. Beta return is the return attributed to a benchmark index. Alpha is excess return. Most optimization models optimize for excess returns or return per unit of risk. Alpha and returns are both cyclical. We need to match investment horizons to market cycles. These lessons get tweaked by your investment style, whether you're a value investor, a growth investor, a momentum investor, or a technical investor. Thank you for your time and attention.